Let's find the derivatives of these three basic composite functions involving e. We'll also solve a bonus question at the end that's a little bit more difficult. These are all composite functions, so to take their derivatives, we will need the chain rule, which is given here. The derivative of a composite function f of g of x equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Let's begin with e to the x squared. What's our f and what's our g? Well, f is the outside function. In this case, that's e to a thing. And that thing, the inside function, g of x, is x squared. Thus, we must begin with f prime, the derivative of e to a thing, and leave that thing inside. In other words, it's just e to the x squared, because the derivative of e to a thing is just e to the thing. But then we need to multiply by the derivative of that thing, g prime, the derivative of that inside function. The derivative of x squared is just 2x, and that's our derivative, which we may want to rewrite as 2x e to the x squared. Now how about this one, the square of e to the x? In this case, the outside function is a thing squared, and the inside function is e to the x. However, before we go ahead and use the chain rule, why don't we just apply our laws of exponents? By our laws of exponents, e to the x squared is the same as e to the power of 2x. Now, the outside function is actually e to a thing, and the thing, the inside function, is 2x. And so this example is actually very much like the previous example once we apply that exponent law. Now, using the chain rule, we begin with f prime of g of x, the derivative of the outside function evaluated at the inside function. The outside function is e to a thing, and its derivative is e to that thing. And then we need to multiply by g prime, the derivative of that inside function. The derivative of 2x is just 2, and so that's the derivative, which we could rewrite as 2e to the power of 2x. Remember, the difference between these first two problems is that in the first one, it was the x getting squared, whereas in the second one, it was the e to the x getting squared, which by our exponent laws, it's the same as e to the 2x. Now let's do e to the sine x. This is pretty straightforward f, the outside function, is again e to a thing, and the thing, that inside function, is sine x. So we begin with the derivative of e to a thing, which is just e to the thing. That's the f prime of g of x here. Then we need to multiply by g prime of x, the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is sine x, and its derivative is cosine x. So there's our derivative, which we may prefer to write as cosine x, multiplied by e to the power of sine x. With that bit of practice, let's try this more complicated composite function. We're again taking the derivative. In this case, the outside function is again e to a thing, and the thing is itself a composite function. But for starters, we'll just have f prime of g of x. So e to the thing. The thing, the inside function, is sine squared of the natural log of x. Now we need to multiply by the derivative of this inside function. This inside function is itself composite. The outside is a thing squared. To take the derivative of a thing squared, we have 2 multiplied by the thing. The thing, in this case, is sine of the natural log of x. That's the thing that was being squared. So when you take the derivative of that, you just have 2 times that thing, just like the derivative of x squared is 2x. But of course, since this guy was composite, we have to multiply by the derivative of this inside function. That's going to give us cosine of the natural log of x, because the derivative of sine is cosine, but you need to leave that inside piece unchanged. And then finally, one last layer, we need to multiply by the derivative of that inside function. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and there is our nasty derivative. So there are a few examples of taking derivatives of exponential functions involving the chain rule. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlist for more practice in the description. Thanks for watching.